Okay, I'm trying another um, a video cam. The light conditions are not exactly um, nominal. In fact, they're, they're pretty bad. Um, I've been troubled about this statement that um, Chairman Obama has said relating to um, his judgment as to what the sound is like coming out of a mosque in the evening. Um, basically, he states that that the sound, um, the pretty one of the prettiest sounds he's ever heard was the sound emanating out of a um, mosque in the evening. And um, he also mentions um, tremendous um, musical accomplishments um, by Muslims. Um, I don't know. I really uh, respect everybody's belief. I think uh, everybody should have whatever belief they have. Whatever gets them through this life, I think, is um, very important, as long as it doesn't affect um, the safety and welfare of others. But I, I would like to know what one of the prettiest sounds you people have heard. Uh, you know, be you Muslim or Catholic or Jewish or whatever, Hindu, I really don't care. I'd like to know what you think uh, some of the prettiest sounds uh, you've ever heard. It's almost as if Obama is obligated by faith to protect the Muslims, uh, not to infuriate them like when he wouldn't wear the American flag and he wouldn't, he wouldn't salute the flag. I think he's been given, given permission uh, to ultimately salute the flag. Uh, when he uh, came out with this concept that he wasn't going to, he was going to have the uh, veterans supply their own health insurance, because after all, they knew what they were getting into. It's not like it's a, a mandatory army; it's a volunteer army, and uh, he was sticking to that. And there's there's um, reported uh, conversations between him and the various members of the uh, vet. Um, the American Legion, except BFW, they were really pissed off, and he wouldn't back down. And then, when everything started going crazy, people were in disbelief. He finally, all, all of a sudden, changed that point of view, and uh, decided that uh, yeah, there wasn't enough he could do for the veterans. But there's something going on here, folks. And um, whether you call it the Manchurian Candidate or something very, very, very strange going on uh, regarding uh, Chairman Obama and the, um, the degree of which his real supporters, hardcore supporters, could care less what he does. They, they, they can't find any fault in anything he does. All they can do is come up with um, saying, well, what about, what about uh, Bush? What about Bush? And, you know, I voted for both Bushes, and unfortunately I would have to say that I would still have voted for both Bushes again because the alternatives really... Um, they're not that good. In the case of um, this last election, I voted for um, Ralph Nader uh, because I saw on the vote on the bailout that both Obama and uh, our buddy uh, John McCain were all you know, being paid uh, by the same, the same people. And when, when John McCain said, don't worry about uh, Obama getting um, elected because nothing terrible will happen, um, you know, I'm thinking to myself, well, why should I worry about it? If Obama gets elected, then if nothing terrible is going to happen. And now you have Pelosi saying that, ideally, it shouldn't matter who you vote for because they all have the same spirit, same... They should all have the same spirit and goals and objectives for the general welfare of the people and all that. So therefore, you know, elections are really highly overrated. And here we are in a time when I am being forced to buy... Um, health insurance against my wishes, taking money that I could much better spend on healthy food, vitamins, and basically decide what kind of treatment I'm going to have. Right now they're forcing me to buy a health insurance policy which would offer treatments which, you know, 90% of them I wouldn't take. So you have to understand that um, this is a real uh, infringement of my liberties as to what I want to do. Yet. He was giving um, hundreds and hundreds of companies exemptions to this mandatory health insurance uh, issue. I find that very disturbing, but nothing seems to disturb 
you know, a lot of you people, nothing. There's nothing this guy can do that'll make you come unglued. It's like you're either hypnotized or you're afraid if you say anything, your head's going to blow up. Maybe they put a chip in your brain. I don't know. Be a little facetious there, but I mean, there's something very, very, very strange. And uh, I give, uh, you know, Donald Trump uh, credit for speaking out. And, you know, I would feel better him being president than, say, Huckabee or, uh, obviously, um, the, uh, the guy from Massachusetts, um, what, Mitt Romney? I mean, this guy, you know, he might make a good male model for uh, a, um, you know, Sears or something like that, or J.C. Penney's. But as far as representing my thoughts, my philosophies, this guy is no, no good. So, anyhow, that's what I'd like to ask you folks once again. What, what is the, one of the prettiest sounds you've ever heard? And I don't think it's what's emanating out of a mosque or uh, in the evening. I mean, if you were Muslim, I could understand that. But if you're not Muslim, why wouldn't, uh, why wouldn't the music coming out of um, a cathedral or chants coming out of a cathedral if you're a Christian be as pretty as Obama seems to think uh, that the uh, music coming out, out of the mosques is, is one of the prettiest things he's ever heard. I think that's what he used, prettiest. I thought pretty had to do with visual things. I don't know, we have to look that up. Anyhow, that's, that's splitting hairs. There's something obviously going wrong here based on his appointments, based upon who he hung out with, Bill Ayers. Um, and it's obvious that the media is, is basically out of control here. Yet I heard a very, very um, interesting thing on Channel 13 on this, uh, and I guess in the 20s and stuff, we sent over um, a lot of aid to the Russians. I mean, they were starving to death over there. We sent truckloads and truckloads and um, shiploads of grain. Uh, we gave it to them. And um, you don't hear about it. This is the first time I've heard about it, and I'm hearing it from the, quote, leftist um, uh, Channel 13. I want to commend them for doing something like that. Uh, and, but the, the lesson here is what the communists will do to exploit what we try to do. They try to negate what we did for them um, in every way, shape, or form. They try to sabotage it. They want to get their hands on that stuff so that, that they could take credit for it. And this is exactly, when you think about it, what the Democrats are trying to do. They're trying to take your taxes and, and spend them in ways that will endear them uh, to the masses. So, anyhow, I apologize for the lighting and the camera. Um, I wish it was uh, a better, not really, <laughs> maybe a better picture of me as a worse picture. I don't know. Anyhow, take care. Bye-bye.